like my, my weird little intro. Yeah, I like my new little intro thing. Good morning, everyone. Hello. That's Saturday. I'm going to be live. I hope it's going to be everybody. All this doom, doom, blower, all this misery y'all got going on. Ugh, I hate it. I hate it. I mean, it's sick. But, wait a minute. Oh no. Shit. It worked. I know they were just kidding. What happened? Fuck you. Excuse me for trying. Everything just decided to break up. I don't know what transpired. Am I being a boomer? Fuck you! I'm trying. I could sit here and just leisure. Am I being a boomer? Fuck you! I'm trying. I mean, that sounds better, but the issue is just that it's drastically too loud. I'm trying to. I'm trying. I mean, that sounds better, but the issue oh, it sounds better. I'm better. I'm living life like it's golden. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Don't do echo. Yeah, I think it's echo only because I, I'm playing it also on my phone. I love this. Dr are you the same drunk three PO that followed me? Matter of fact, since you're here and you 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 one of these geeking gamers, there's some echo, but you're heard better in echo. My life is unfair. I'm glad y'all here with my suffering. <laughs> It's this new audio interface. I tried too much shit. 
I tried too much shit at once and shit don't work. This this is why you can't you can't ever have good things, you know. You sound Leon. You sound good, Leon. Scooby poop. Fuck you too. Poopity scoop. Scooby whoop. I don't hear no echo. Y'all some liars. Oh, y'all some fucking lies. I don't hear no echo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I don't worry about it. I'm going to get mine back in blood. Don't worry about it. I'm going to get my shit back in blood with y'all. Y'all going to get it. But, like I said, good morning. Salutations, brethren, sisterin, motherin, fatherin. Drunk 3 Bill, since you want to show up and I randomly get followed by you on Twitter. Might as well talk about geek and gamers being racist, shouldn't I? Because apparently racism is a foot. I don't watch I don't watch geek and gamer like talking about it. I know Eric July, Young Ripper was on there. I know that they do like Friday night tight and all that good stuff, you know? That's good and whatnot. But I don't, I'm not a faithful watcher. But I heard news. That there's racism afoot. And when there's racism, I'll be there to dignify if it's racist or not. Why? Why is that? Because not only am I an official black, I'm also an official white. So I have perfect say around here about what is racist and what is not racist. So apparently, apparently, is you hot and cold at the same time? Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you hard. It's hard out here for a player pimp. But. But. I heard that somebody named Ryan. I don't know which one of y'all named Ryan. I think it's, I think it's the one that followed me. RK Outpost. Apparently he made a George Floyd joke. Ooh, what racism. Oh. Sue's at. That smoke shop guy gave me AMA on Reddit. I don't know who that is. But it's summer. I don't give a fuck. I'm freezing. You know what would help me out? A, a Ripperverse hoodie. That will help me out. No, I'm Jay. All right. Which, which one is Ryan? I'm pretty sure if I could type it in, I'll find it. Hold on. Give me a moment. Blame drunk 3 people why it's so unorganized. I had my... I had my structure for what I wanted to do, and he comes in and fucks it up. Always drunk robots fucking my shit up. <laughs> Ryan. Okay, okay, it's this one. It's that guy. Now I need to find the joke. If I find the joke, I hopefully I saved it. Mm, did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Go back. Ryan. Ryan Kennel, George Floyd. I'm pretty sure if I type that in on Twitter, I'll get the joke. It was a funny ass joke. I would like to say, if I, oh, found it. <laughs> All right, boom. Enough of the boomer talk. Now we get into the nitty gritty, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, that man right there, him. His name is Ryan Kennel. He followed me on Twitter. Look at that, I got followed. And so I said, fuck it, I followed him back. And I think the reason I, he followed me is because I, as a marginalized POC, person of color, victim 24-7, you heard the Eminem album, Red Sings the Blues, bring your ass on the stream. Maybe you, you, maybe you could dictate the racism. This man right here, this, this white, this white male... Made a terrible joke that has upset a bunch of the YouTube community. I'm going to play it just so that everybody could understand the levels of racism that took place. Alex, come here. They have a memorial to George Floyd. Oh, my gosh. George Floyd Memorial Live. Wait, Look at that. They got a Derek Chauvin George Floyd Memorial. Dude, that's insane. Gemini. That's the joke. That was the joke. 
Now, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we're going to be judge, jury, and executioner around here. Was the joke racist? Was it evil? Was it something that we should be canceling geeks and gamers for? I know the lonely banter as well. Bring your lonely banter ass on the stream then. Damn, that was pretty good. All right. I'm seeing some laughs. I'm seeing some laughs. I see a shocked emoji. Hmm. I'm seeing hell nose. I'm seeing nose. Seeing nose. Joke was corny. I ain't gonna lie. It was kind of corny. But even I often laugh at some corn. Tough. That was right. Now, let's see you. See you. You can't say it was racist or not. Because me and you, we go back like full holes on their back. You, you can't be crying racism about nothing. Dad joke. It kind of was a dad joke. You know what I'm saying? He's honest. I'm Nigerian and I agree with him. And agree with him about what? It was a joke. <laughs> That's not a political point. Insensitive but not racist. It gave me a chuckle. So all in all, I'm not... Wait, can I put a poll? Matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to leave it up to the, to the people. I got to leave it to the people. It's Ryan Kittle, so I'm not surprised. Guilty by being corny. So it's laughing corn as we speak. Oh, okay. Let me see if I can put a poll up. I can't do it on Restream, so let me go to my own YouTube stream and just be like, hey, heathens, let me do a little heathen work. Turn that off. Oh, I can't put a poll. Was it Yes or no? And I'm gonna ask my my small little marginalized community of people. So we go we gonna come back to that later. Where did my racist cards go? Where did my cards go? Oh, here they go. I'm Judge Jerry and Executioner. Dark humor is actually a genre. Love your channel. I voted yes. I do it well. Leon, don't you get it? It's two years too early to make fun of Floyd. That's a good question. When was this joke made? Because I've seen this on Twitter for like the past five days. And so naturally, when you see it on Twitter for five days, you think it's new. It looked kind of old, but who knows? It could have been something he made two days ago. Who knows? Let's. I want to know, Drunk 3PO. This was dumb. I agree. Eh, kind of dumb. I laugh at dumb jokes, though. I don't really care. That's always the great answer. Hi, Leon. Take care. What are you telling me hi and then leaving for? Like my poor father. Not really. <laughs> it was a joke made last week. Oh, well. It was a funny-ass joke made last week. I can't lie. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Okay, can't vote on what I'm clueless about. Oh, I got to play it again? Should I play it again? I'm going to play it again. <laughs> All right. So, for anybody who's just joining, we're trying to figure out if this is a racist joke or not. Let's, let's hear it. Alex, come here. They have a memorial to George Floyd. Oh, my gosh. George Floyd Memorial Live. Look at that. They got a Derek Chauvin George Floyd Memorial. Dude, that's insane. Gemini is crazy. So, class, was it? I hold the belief that it wasn't. It's just another case of some dark humor. And look, comedy is subjective. You can find something unfunny, and that's perfectly fine. You can find something downright hilarious, and it's perfectly fine. But what is the, what is the fine line of racism? Insensitive, I suppose. So you can even say it's insensitive, but racist. Oh, now we're bridging a gap. Because I watched a stream with one of my friends on it, Saggy Melons, and she was having a dialect with somebody who did believe it was racist. And I saw a lot of double speak in that. Bro, your mic. I'm sorry. Why does your mic peak so hard? Because I'm, I, I, you know what? I try my absolute hardest. I'm going to turn it down a smidgen. I'm going to exist on this earth just a little bit.
if it was a white man standing on a monkey, it might have been racist. Yeah, good point. But weren't those two Simpsons characters? All right. Slim Shady is P comedy. It's called Dark Humor. All right. So we're I'm getting a variety of answers. It's it's either dark humor, it's either insensitive, or it's just completely funny. Or it's unfunny. So, what's the final verdict, everybody? I'm I'm going I got my javelin somewhere. Matter of fact, my croc shoe is going to be the javelin. I deem this joke not racist. Bada boom. He's out. You missed it? Well, I ain't going back. I didn't played it two times already. I voted yes, it was racist. Not because I thought it was racist. Hold on. Let me get that. I voted yes, it was racist. Not because I thought it was racist, but because I joined the stream and the poll just randomly thrown in my face without... <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Stop the polls. No, the polls gonna keep going. Why well, I gotta stop the polls? 140. I got 236 people in here. 146 voted, and overwhelmingly, people think that it wasn't. Obi Leon Kenobi. Jesus Christ! I can't just be wrapped in a blanket. I'm in my pajamas. Y'all thought I was gonna dress up. Maybe on Halloween. Can't vote because I don't... Ugh. You know what? One more time. Okay? We're going to do this one more time. We're we going to share the joke uno one more time -o. Okay? And after that, y'all on your own. Scroll backwards. Okay? We ready? We cool? Y'all ready? Here it is. One last time. Alex, come here. They have a memorial to George Floyd. Oh my gosh! George Floyd Memorial Live! Wait, Look at I'm that. The they got a Derek Chauvin George Floyd Memorial. Dude, that's insane. Gemini is real And that's the joke. Okay? Y'all got it? Y'all square? Now can you vote? That's the last time I'm showing it. You ain't getting no more. Do you mean gavel? No, I mean javel. I javel with it. Not really, it's just a joke. Isn't the dude one of Alex Jones' lackeys? I don't know. I mean, I'm going to say that right now. I have no idea. I, I've recently been introduced to these humans that call themselves geeks and gamers. So I don't know who's affiliated with what. I'm only interested in my personal experience. And because this is my real first personal experience, a funny ass joke, I don't really have nothing I can go on. But you didn't give us an I don't know, but you know what? That's fair. Next time, next time I'll give you the I don't know option. Because it's fair to say I don't know. It was try hard. It was try hard of anything. Mm, that's a nice take. A try hard joke. Joke was making fun of somebody who died of a fentanyl overdose. Yes, but some people deem that to be insensitive and racist. Some people just find it to be insensitive. Some people find it tasteless. But now that we got the first 20 minutes of struggles and being a boomer, all that trash talk I give Gothics and Star Sand finally came back to bite me in my ass. Hello, everybody. I just want to get a couple of quick things out of the way. And then I'm going to get into the meat of what I wanted to do here. Firstly, the lesser of the evils. Throughout this next week, I haven't penciled in which day yet. I got to formulate what I'm going to do. That's the word, tasteless. All right. That's an opinion. But again, you can't really be saying anything about tasteless jokes, Mr. Being Quiet Gaming. At some point during the week, I'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream on Twitch. Oh, my God. I get 1.3 followers. Nice. At some point... I'm going to be doing a 24-hour stream this week. Yes, I will announce it. I play various amounts of games. I play Fortnite. I play Fall Guys. I'm not playing the quarry ever again. I play Mario Strikers. I, I got a 
sign in to play the multiverse game. I play it until dawn. I play basketball. I play Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I can play anything that my heart sets to. Hopefully, with my little self promo of this, people will join. People will have a fun time. People will say, oh, I like that Leon guy. He's very interesting. He's somebody that would enjoy that I would enjoy watching a stream for for a couple hours. It's unrealistic to expect anybody to pay attention for 24 hours. I will try. I will succeed in doing the 24 hours. Play the banjo. How dare you? I recently played Mario Strikers. It's pretty good from the first strike. I need Mario Baseball. That's the fuck I need. When, when I get Mario Baseball, then I can feel good about myself. But until then... That's the link to the stream. I'll announce when I do the 24-hour stream. But in due time, is due time. The second thing, and I have permission to do this because the person that gave me permission was like, oh, it's cool. So, for those of you who don't know, I have merch. And you might be wondering, what merch could you possibly have? Oh, nothing. Just this. Just, just a simple little bring Leon money hoodie. I know it's not fully in the picture, but there's the detail of it. There's me right there with my little beard, my little crown, and my little monies. There, there's a better description of it. Bring Leon money, because we know in the time of BLM and all their support and how Black Lives Matter is synonymous with the letters BL and M, I'm changing that. I'm being more descriptive of it. B stands for bring, L stands for Leon, and M stands for money. That's what BLM really stands for. Bring Leon money. And there's me with my little avocado outfit on. I got stickers. I got shirts. Hold on just a sec. I got more stickers. I'm a sexy black sticker. My iconic pink hat. Beautiful things. Beautiful things all around. LOL, cute. It is cute. What, you thought it was supposed to be something gory? No. You thought I was just supposed to have something evil? No. But now I'm gonna be a little, I'm gonna be a little bit braggadocious, not braggadocious, but fast pace, fast pace. You draw? No, I don't. Hell no, I don't draw. How dare you? Character assassinate me like that? I don't draw. I paid for it to be drawn. Bring Leon midgets. You can't say midgets anymore, person. You, you fucking humanoid bastard. You can't say midgets anymore. What's wrong with you? I don't even know why I'm saying it. It's because I can get away with it. Bring Leon money. Got scammed by BLM? Don't worry. Throw your money to a black person who didn't lie to you. <laughs> oh, my God. What is wrong with me? I got bucket hats, dad hats, baseball caps, T-shirts, fucking baseball three-fourths of a sleeve shirt for some reason. Hoodies, sweatshirts. Women can wear them. Women with muscles can wear them. Women with curly hair can wear them. White women can wear them. More curly-haired women. I got stickers. I got skins. I got snaps. I got iPhone cases. I got cups, arc acrylic blocks, postcards, something for babies, pillows. Oh, my God. I ain't gonna lie. The pillow got to be my favorite option. Just look at all that stitching. Beautiful option. I got mugs. I got bags for all you women that like to walk around Starbucks. I got water bottles for you people that pretend to work out. It's a beautiful day. It's all beautiful all around. It's all beautiful. Isn't it? So if you want to support what BLM actually stands for, <laughs> you know? <laughs> if you want to support what BLM actually stands for, I'll get the link just for you. And Moon, just because I know you're probably in here, we need Bring Leon. <laughs> My God, just, no, thank you. I'm not going to be responsible for some faulty condoms. Nope, 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 nope. Monkeypox, I don't know about that. I don't know about that option. Mm -mm, I ain't got that. My body clean. Wow, Leon, letting white people pose for your clothing. Aren't you supposed to support black-only models? Hey, it's not my website. What, Moon? What'd you say Moon about? It's all beautiful, isn't it? Isn't it? All right. Now for, now for the reason I'm actually here streaming. This week on that bullshit. Burn Leon's mustache. Fuck you.
Fuck you. You just mad you can't grow nothing, bitch. Hating on me because you can't grow a fucking mustache. How'd that go? What's your opinion on the Britney Grinder verdict? As someone who travels internationally often, I think she was foolish and honestly got off easy compared to other countries. You get nine years for some cannabis oil and you think that's getting off easy? Huh? Wait, 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 wait. She got nine years in Russian prison for cannabis oil and you think that's got off easy? I want to know what you think a life sentence is equal to. When are we getting memberships for this channel? All right. So look, last thing, and then I'm going to get going. And I'm not going to be distracted by you fucking people. If I do memberships, it's just going to be like me reading. Because right? I've been bitched at to, you should read some books. You should work with Audible. I'm like, fuck it. Why, why not just use the membership thing as an option and just charge y'all like a dollar? And y'all can hear me read books as an option. And that's my thought process. Once I figure out how to get it done, I'll I'll announce that. But good eye on you, Oni. But y'all want to start stupid or y'all want to go straight into, I mean, it's all stupid. So it's not really too much of an issue. Ah, fuck it. We're going to start small and work our way up to stupid. Las Vegas vape store owner defends himself by using a knife to stab would-be robber. A Las Vegas vape store owner repeatedly stabbed a crook who frightened him by jumping over his counter during a botched robbery, according to a video and the worker's account of the incident. Video footage showed the brazen broad daylight heist on Wednesday in which Johnny, I ain't even going to attempt it, owner of Smoke Storm Smoke Shop, stabbed an unidentified assailant at least seven times before the robber yelled, I'm dead, and fell to the ground. <laughs> Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department officials told the Post that cops responded Wednesday afternoon to a robbery incident at the vape business, but would not release further details. I was scared for my life, told the Post on Friday when they came in. One of them had a bag in front of him like he had a firearm or something. I didn't have much time to think. I grabbed my knife right next to the register. Once again, not going to attempt that name. He was 22 years old. Said it was around 3.25 p.m. on Wednesday when two men wearing black ski masks entered the shop while another stood by the door. Video footage showed, I'm not going to attempt that, asking the two suspects why they were wearing ski masks. When you asked them to leave, one of the suspects grabbed the tip jar. I asked them first nightly to leave, but the guy took my tip jar, which was fine. When they came back and tried to take some more, that's when it escalated. Surveillance footage showed one of the suspects jumped over the counter and tried to grab some products off the shelf, fearing for his life. I don't even know why I'm attempting it. Said he grabbed a knife with a three-inch blade and stabbed the assailant seven times. Stop, please. I'm dead. I'm dead. Out of any reaction you could have to being stabbed, that's probably one of the funniest. Stop, please. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm just saying. That's a funny-ass reaction. I remember him saying, please don't let me die. He said he was sorry. By that point, he took his mask off. I was trying to get on the phone with the police when he was trying to talk to me. I just ran and wanted to make sure the police and the ambulance would get here on time. He said, the told him he's 17 years old. His condition was not clear. The brazen attempt robbery in Las Vegas happened a day after another business owner in California made national headlines after he shot a robber who attempted to enter his liquor store armed with an AR-15 style rifle. And I will say, I saw that one. And it was absolutely funny. Now, I can't show the video because YouTube already doesn't like me. Didn't sound funny in the actual video. I mean, yeah, that's true. It didn't sound funny. But reading it and having that being read, it, it gives me a slight chuckle. But I can't show the video because YouTube already doesn't like me. And it's already a struggle to keep things posted and not get age restricted. I will say I saw it. And here's my genuine thought. That was an over-exaggeration. Because if you watch the video, you could see the guy jump over the counter, not even make a move towards our fateful knife user. The knife user sees the guy jump over the counter, and he immediately went to stab him. And I find that to be a little bit different than the incident that happened at that New York shop where the dude is pushing him backwards and he has to respond because violence meets violence. And even that one that was from the other day 
of the dude walking in with the AR-15 just pointed and then whining like a bitch because he got shot in the arm. People are just scared these days. That's true. People are scared. And when it comes to self-defense, there's this broad line between when people expect self-defense and what we would call murder. And on that justification, if that dude ain't dead, or if he is dead, that's cold-blooded murder to me. That man just jumped over that. He was probably just trying to take all the cannabis he can get and walk out. The dude with the tip jaw just grabbed the tip jaw and walked out. No, ran out because his man got stabbed and he ran. He ain't even try to. He ain't even try to fucking defend him. Is it justified in order to protect his products? <sighs> this is the slippery slope. In order to protect the products, there would have to be violence been done towards you. Or on you for you to be saying self-defense. That man who shot the dude in the arm and he ran screaming, I got shot in the arm. What's the difference? He walked in with an AR-15 pointed at somebody. He just wasn't expecting an old man to have a trigger finger. Here, it's just two dudes walking in. They got a bag. You don't really know if they got a firearm. You on one side of the counter. The dude is on the other side of the counter. And, it, and he jumps, he doesn't jump towards you, he's jumping toward all your product, and you just run over and stab him? <sighs> I think that might, be, that might be one that don't work out for you people that like to say self-defense all the time. And I'm a proponent of self-defense. You breaking somebody's house, or you getting clapped? You walk up to somebody with a gun, and you point it at him, you getting clapped. You go behind the counter, you start shoving, and punching on somebody, you getting clapped. You jump over a counter, and you not even going towards the person behind the counter? That might be something people use in court. So, we go see. We are going to see. I mean, let me see this. I mean, the first three stabs, okay, fine. But when he stabbed him again, when he turned his back to him, nah. See, that's another thing. The word excessive is a, a, a tried and true i don't know when we stop using the word excessive but we need to bring that back we need to bring the ability to call some situations excessive excessive because i don't see how when and why would justify running up and punching him but stabbing him might be a bit much if it was a situation where he turned where he jumped over the counter and looked at him and ran towards him i'd have been perfectly fine with him stabbing him but because that motion didn't happen, I can't sit here and be like, yeah, that was justified. So what I will say is the most controversial thing I can say, which gets people upset at me sometimes because they don't like when I have this opinion. Let's all wait for more information to come out. Hello there, Leon. Hello there. Toast is good. Yeah. 28 stab wounds. Was it really 28? that's excessive like a motherfucker but let me ask y'all a question as we talking about the word excessive what about that shooting that happened with that officer I said officer the, the 10 other officers and they all just shot at one dude wouldn't we all call that excessive like, cause if, you, if, if there's nine of y'all and y'all all just lighting bullets up, at what point do you say stop? Slim Shady had four counts of murder. Why the fuck are we talking about Eminem? It's a hard case to win because people will pick and choose when fear is enough. Reacting first can save a life is hard. It is hard. It really is hard to dictate self defense, but when the evidence is there, it is there. I think Leon would love that game. What do you mean I would love that game? I played that game. I own that game. What are you talking about? But dad, I want to be angry. That's the problem. You can't be angry every fucking day. At some point, you got to live your life and not be fucking miserable. Okay? But that was that topic. That was that lovable fucking rigmarole. Uh, fuck it. I'm not, I'm not going to go to what I want to go to first. Or what I wanted to go to mainly. I want to go for more stupid. So, we all love chaos and video games. How do we all feel about diversity? Yeah, I say that and watch my viewership go completely down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yo, Leon, where'd the term illegal alien come from? I don't know. I don't know why the fuck. I don't, I don't know where it came from. I don't know how it started. People got mad when I said, I don't know why people say illegal alien when you could just say illegal immigrant. Leon led the androids on a homicidal rampage basically because he killed everyone he could. Yes. Diversity is BS. Overrated. I like diversity as long as it isn't a detriment to the game itself. Diversity, I hate it. If it's done right and not up in my face, I could care less. Diversity should be willful. I will say, since I'm a black person, I don't care about diversity. Done right is a beautiful thing. I don't understand why people pretend like diversity is this new thing. When you have countless examples of diversity being done right. You also have countless examples of diversity being done wrong. However, what I find interesting about the conversation is when sometimes... You step upon that line, there's always somebody that just wants to jump the gun just a little bit. Just a little bit. They always seemingly think they have the right avenue of life, but they always tend to get something wrong, especially when it comes to criticism. Because when you criticize something, oh, you don't care about this, you don't care about that, you don't care about the plight of these people. Didn't they have some spy movie with a bunch of women that they outright said is not for men? Men, you don't need to be watching this. And then it bombed. And then who was blamed for it? Men. Shit like that. So when I saw this, I just had a little chuckle to myself. She-Hulk director says complaints about bad CGI come from our culture's beliefs in its ownership of women's bodies. I'll say that one more time. She-Hulk director says complaints about bad CGI come from our culture's belief in its ownership of women's bodies. It's coming from the blaze. The director of the new She-Hulk attorney at law series fired back at complaints about the computer generated imagery imagery. I don't know why I said imaginary by blaming society's tendency to assert ownership of women's bodies. The new Marvel Studios series featuring the superhero character She-Hulk garnered an underwhelming response from some viewers after the first trailer dropped months ago. A second trailer appeared to show improved graphics, but the complaints persisted. In a virtual panel, in a virtual panel, excuse me, publicizing the show, the lead actors and director defended the effects from their critics. I do think that we have to like be wait a minute. I do think that we we have to like be super conscious of how the work conditions aren't always optimal and that they've made these amazing strides in the industry said tatiana amazingly the actress portraying she hulk i watch it and it doesn't look like a cutscene from a video game she added i could see the character's thoughts i feel very in awe of what they do the show's director cat corio was more direct in terms of the CGI being critiqued, I think it has more to do with our culture's beliefs in the ownership of women's bodies, she said. I think a lot of the critique comes from feeling like they're able to tear apart the CGI woman. There's a lot to talk about her body type, and we base it on Olympian athletes and not bodybuilders. But I think if we had gone the other way, we would be facing the same critique. I think it's very hard to win when you make women's bodies. She also defended the show against complaints from the special effects artists of poor working conditions on Marvel Studios projects. Corios had said in other interviews that the series is focused through a female lens instead of the traditional male gaze that pervades the comic book medium and that inclusivity is a big part of the show. The nine episode series is scheduled to debut on August 18th on Disney+. Plus. Now, I don't really care that it's a woman show. What's your favorite sauce? Barbecue sauce. It's, I'm not even surprised that the Olympic level mental gymnastics are being used here. Criticizing CGI is not new. CGI for a long time has been piss poor. And even with all these fucking strides in technology, there's still examples recently of CGI being piss poor. Case in point, Black Panther. Uh, we, I, we can all sit here and praise Black Panther, Wakanda forever. The trailer came out. Everybody got an opinion on it. Objectively speaking, the CGI in the first Black Panther movie, absolutely terrible. Couldn't get into it. It looked like a PS2 game on the PlayStation 3. 
And it just wasn't anything I could really take my time to sink my teeth in. It took me out of the movie. Iron Man's obvious floating head. There's a fucking... What's the anime? Demon Slayer. There was a battle on the train, and the fucking snake head looked absolutely awful. Why do they always talk about the male gaze? Well, look. Let's say this. It's not focused on the male gaze. How dare you? They're not focused on it being about the male gaze, you heathens. You perpetual liars and stigmatists. You know? It's not about the male gaze. As I silently try to bring up something that <laughs> counteracts the fucking point. It's never about the male gaze. How can anybody sit here and consider anything be about the male gaze? How dare? How could anyone? Shit, where is it? <laughs> I have this I have this great fucking point and now I can't fucking find it because of course. Alright, now I gotta type it in She-Hulk trailer. I need the one from two months ago because it proves my point. Not at all could be about the male gaze. Hold on one second. I know the suspense is building. What about the female gaze? That exists. Women? Counting? I don't think so. The female gaze. The, uh, couldn't possibly. No, Nobody would look at this and think, oh, God. Look at, look at that. Nobody would think, oh, this is obviously for the females. Strong, independent women, muscular Amazonians picking up these weak men and fucking them raw. Right? We all, we all good about that, right? Did we clear on that? What a sex scene this is going to be. You know how many people already plan to jerk off to this? And we not worried about the male gaze? You know how many fucking weaves saw this and got hard immediately? Because that's all they do. They sit back and they just dream about Amazonian women picking them up and having their way. Whoa, whoa, raw? Yeah, raw. Weaves don't know nothing about a condom. I would love that. See, look, right there. Boom. Male gaze. Male gaze, right there. Bada boom. Prove a point. Does that guy have no feet? Nah, I think it's just the way they cut it or the way I paused it. <clears throat> Never found She Hulk all that attractive. Yeah, that's up to you. Apparently not enough <laughs> weebs watching it. Hey, we gonna see come the time it comes out. If you choose to watch it, perfectly fine. If you don't, that's also perfectly fine. I can't really sit here and be judged during an execution on people and what they deem to watch. Now, did you just call it Wakanda? If I did, my bad. Fuck it, Wakanda, Wakanda, all that. Enough time being single and your type is has a pulse. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Once you're green, yeah, once you're green, the sex is always mean. All right. Everybody give me a second. I'll be right back.
All right, heathens, I'm back. I have returned. Africa can use some with condoms. Oh, how tasteless can you possibly be, good buddy? How tasteless are you? Jeez Louise. So unorganized and unorthodox. Coming to coming in spring 2020, they all go, oh God. I'm from Chicago, and there's a town close called Wakakonda, Wakunda, but ironically, it's 90% white. How dare the cancellation of Bad Girl or Cat Girl? I don't really, I didn't, I didn't even care. I don't care about that because it's 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 a it's a movie I wasn't interested in because I don't really, I'm not, I don't find the Bat Woman, Bat Girl interesting anyway. So I'm good on that. I'm square. I'm square. All right. That's our thoughts on diversity and how diversity is always going to be a plague for the rest of humankind or whatever. I have a question. Don't we all hate fake news? Aren't we all tired of individuals getting on platforms and just awkwardly lying about a bunch of people? And setting it up as if they're always right, and then they turn up being wrong, and then some individuals don't own up to it, and they lie about it, or they try to blame somebody else about it, right? And then how that typically goes with mainstream and even side news. Everything could be fake news. What's the dang poll about? You got to scroll back because I'm not going any further. There's a man out there in the ether who made a very bad claim a couple years ago and now he's facing consequences for that claim and the whole dialogue over the past few days has been is this justified is this is this warranted is this a witch hunt who am i referring to oh it's uh, it's, it's alex jones alex jones ordered to pay 45.2 million million dollars in punitive damages to Sandy Hook parents. What a oh shit face. Like, imagine him being told that, and then this is his face. Like, motherfucker, what? Alex Jones was ordered Friday to pay more than 45 million in punitive damages to the parents of one of the victims of the 2012 Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre. The Texas jury ruling came down one day after the far, far right InfoWars host was ordered to fork over 4.1 million in compensatory compen, Jesus Christ, I'm tired. Compensatory damages for claiming that the Newtown, the Newtown, Connecticut school shooting was a hoax meant to increase support for gun control. An attorney for parents Scarlett Lewis and Neil Halson had asked the panel to deliver a verdict big enough to take the bullhorn away from Jones. I ask that with your verdict, you not only take Alec Jones' platform that he talks about away, I ask that you make sure that he can't rebuild the platform. That what matters, lawyer, that's what matters, lawyer Wesley Ball said. That is punishment. That is deterrence. Jones had claimed that the mass shooting was staged or faked using actors. The mass shooting... <laughs> Jesus Christ. The mass shooting killed 21st grade students and six staffers at the school, including Lewis and Helson's six-year-old son, Jesse. When the Austin jury first awarded the $4.1 million in compensatory damages, Jones called it a major victory, but the additional punitive damages bring the total to four point nine. For $49.3 million, Jones had testified that any award that came in at more than $2 million would sink InfoWars' parent company, Free Speech Systems. The company filed for bankruptcy protection at the start of the two-week trial, during which Jones admitted under oath that the shooting was 100% real. A plaintiff hired economics had estimated Jones and the company were worth as much as 270 million and that he withdrew 62 million for himself last year as he felt default judgments in lawsuits Jones has faced accusations of trying to hide his wealth amid the slew of legal cases Jones attorneys claim that their client had learned his lesson and asked for the penalty to be under 300,000 according to the Associated Press You've already sent the message, attorney Adeno Reno said, a message for this first time 
a message for the first time to a talk show host, to all talk show hosts, that their standard of care has to change. The parents had testified Tuesday about how the hoax had affected them, claiming that their lives had been threatened and that they've been the subject of on high harassment. Jones took the stand as the only defense witness and in a now viral moment was confronted by a plaintiff attorney who revealed that the host legal team had accidentally shared the contents of his cell phone and neglected to claim them as privilege. Jones had insisted under oath that he found no text and emails about the mass shooting when the rec- when the records were requested as pretrial evidence. Do you know what perjury is? Lawyer Mark Bankston asked Jones on on the stand. The blunder may have consequences outside the Sandy Hook kicks. Bankston told the court Thursday that the House Select Committee investigating last year's Capitol riot had requested records from the phone, and the attorney later said that he had planned to comply with the committee's request. That is the article, and I have to ask a very specific question. At what point do we start holding everybody accountable for propagating a bunch of bullshit? I'm not a fan of Alex Jones. It's not like, oh, I'm excited and it's time for a witch hunt. I just don't watch Alex Jones. It's just like Kevin Samuels. I don't watch Kevin Samuels. It's perfectly fine that I don't watch Kevin Samuels. They're only going against right-wing hosts. If you check the judge's Twitter, you see how unbiased she is. I hold the opinion that if you're going to be egregious enough to talk about a school shooting being fake and there's just a bunch of actors to promote gun control, you should be criticized and you should be punished for that. And when I mean punished, you should be losing some money for that. However... I don't think you need your platform taken away because now the trend is to say he needs to no longer exist. Take away InfoWars. Now you're stepping a little bit too far. Isn't that Samuel's guy dead? Yes, he is. And I see somebody say hold CNN accountable. Absolutely. CNN was one of the major sites who decided to turn some white dude smiling at an individual into some racist. And then that white man decided to sue And I believe they either settled or they lost. I think they settled. No law against being crazy last I checked. Mm, That might be true. I'm not going to sit there and contest that. Alex Alex Jones reported what people were saying. CNN does the same thing. They report what people say. And they should also face criticism for the dumb shit they propagate. I don't want nobody to think, oh, I'm completely on the side of Alex Jones or now I'm pro censorship and all this shit. When I kind of am because I don't really like grown adults talking about how they want to boink children. But anyway, when you make a claim that egregious, you should face a consequence for that. And it doesn't just go for the right wing people. It goes for every fucking body. The View, Fox News, Tucker Carlson, Don Lemon. Um... Who the dudes? Who are the two dudes that was on CNN? Uh, the Cumstain Brothers, Patrice Cullors, Taylor Lorenz. It's all these people. Everybody ain't perfect. I don't know why people look at every media source and deem this person is credible. This person is credible. Everybody is liable to get shit wrong. It was fucking weird when everybody was all in agreement that Taylor Lorenz showing up to lives of TikTok's family member house was fucking dumb. But then when Candace Owens show up at somebody crib, oh, that's perfectly fine. No, hold that standard. Well, you have Nick Sandman. That's his name, Nick Sandman. That's the dude who, who sued CNN. I feel as though 40 million is a steep. Amber Heard didn't have to pay that much. Even Leon got something. Absolutely, Leon got shit wrong. The fuck? I I'm never gonna sit here on this on this fucking YouTube channel and pretend I'm always right. Fuck no. Don't censor pedos. Lock them up if they want to incriminate themselves. Can't disagree. If they do incriminate themselves, they do incriminate themselves.
<sighs> but media is full of a bunch of motherfuckers who lie, who promote a lie, and who broadcast a lie, and they never own up to that lie. Alex Jones admitted, yeah, he fucked that up. That's not really going to get him out that hot water. That after all that time, because this was in 2012, and it's been going on for years. And you feel as though now is the perfect time? I ain't going to say now like he just did it. But owning up to it at some point, that's not really going to save you on your credibility, just like it doesn't save CNN. Patrice said she only used matches for BLM functions and not personal use, and she lied, which further hindered the fucking credibility of anybody saying BLM or they support Black Lives Matter. Let's be honest, CNN never fired Jeffrey Tobin. That was a mistake. At what, at what point do we make theories legal? All right, here, here's the thing. This is the thing about theories. When you promote a theory about something, there's that speculation where it could exist. And there's usually some credence to it, right? A school shooting happened. And all we had to go on was that they're child actors. And that the reason that this happened was to promote gun control. Which, if you think about it, didn't even work. Because we still had school shootings after the fact. We still got shitty gun control after the fact. So are we really going to call it? So are we really going to use that as a good example? Butter Leon's muffin? Oh, God. Everyone has theories, though. Are we not allowed to think things? Y'all getting a little bit too invested in trying to be emotional with this. Now y'all trying to conflate everything with each other, and that's not how that goes. I'm not comparing science being a theory to saying a school shooting was fake. That there's like leaps and bounds there, and those are two different things. How much do you think is enough for the family? 150 is too much or too little? 150? Where you get 150 from? I read 49.2. Where you got 150 from? Are you talking about something else? Don't put emotions behind logic. Theories are in fact, they can be wrong most of the time, but there's some of them that can be proven right. So look, let me ask you a question. Is the theory about the school shooting right or wrong? Based on what I could tell, that shit is egregiously wrong. I've seen a lot more evidence than the two things you have provided. Whether there are any credibility, credibility is a different question. That's important to this, though. If you're going to make a claim like that, you need some form of credibility and facts and evidence. The 49 mil would be uh, the 49 mil will be reduced by Texas law to a max of 2.6 mil. Hmm? Yeah. The bottom line is that the official story doesn't add up. All right. This is this is a diverse lineup of topics. Not topics, but answers. Was Tubin the one they played himself on the Zoom call? Who's Tubin? Inflation. The 49 is now 150. Jeez. I I can't imagine owing somebody twenty dollars, forty nine million, a hundred and fifty million. She no, fuck no, can't do it, won't do it. I don't want to do it. A source familiar with the thing it says though. At the end of the day. If, if we're going to have this for Alex Jones, I think we should have this for everybody who gets something wrong and they promote it and they objectively say, hey, we're going to spread this around. And then they don't own up to it because somebody could come around and say, I've been negatively impacted by CNN promoting that BLM is only about police brutality. I've been emotionally impacted. I've been harassed because I think BLM needs to do more. Patrice Cullors could get sued. I think that could be fair. Alex Jones, Patrice Coom is next. I wouldn't have no fucking problem if Patrice Cullors got sued. I wouldn't have no problem if Don Lemon got sued. 
I wouldn't be up here saying, oh, well, no, it's a little bit different. That's exactly what I'm saying about seeing him. Yes. Let, let me make my stance a little bit more clear. I don't feel bad for Alex Jones because he promoted a theory and now he's facing the consequence for it. I do think everybody else who does the exact same fucking thing and their news sources and they're promoting their little weird theory with no evidence to back it to the public and then they get it wrong and then people get hurt by that fucking theory being wrong they should fake they fake they should face the exact same type of punishment right fair alex admitted the sandy hook happened a long time ago sue all the liars yes 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 Leon, dude, you hurt my feelings. I want 50000 Well, you're going to wait a long time for that one. <laughs> I ain't got it. I give I gi uh, gi you this sticker. I give you this little sticker for like my SSD card. Every choice you make has a consequence. Kind of. Who was physically hurt? You have parents claiming they was harassed online, having to deal with this. Do you have a boyfriend? I love when everybody thinks I'm gay. You have no how many ah. You have no idea how many people. Let me put this on the screen. You have no idea how many people were brainwashed into thinking blacks are being murdered in mass genocide every day in America. How dumb are you to think I don't know that? In case you forgot, I'm black. I saw the same BS you saw. I saw the same, oh, cops are hunting black people. I've been put in handcuffs. I've been pulled over. Somehow I'm still alive. So what, I'm not, I'm not black enough? I turn off all these lights, I bet you y'all not going to see me. Dude, I thought everyone under 25 was gay. Hey, I'm under 25. But I see the same bullshit statistic you see. Oh, we're being hunted. Oh, the blacks disenfranchised. There's no such thing as black on black. It's dumb. Dumb takes. Dumb all around takes. So, yes. That's his fucking bed. And he got a lie in that. That's, uh, that's all on Alex Jones. That ain't got nothing to do with me. As you can tell, I got my white privilege card. I'm good. Alex Jones better cash in on one of these motherfuckers. But Rob Parker fake crying. Yeah. Have any of those people ever heard of Africa? They got motherfuckers who promote Africa like a disease ridden country. Alex Stein 99. BLM documentary about Candace. Now look. I'm going to say this right now. I don't even think that thing is out yet. Is it? Is Candace Owens BLM documentary out? I'm going to tell you all this right now. I like Candace Owens. Some things she say that's, that's kind of funny. Some things she say that you can actually think about. Some things she does is downright corny and pointless. I will say this. That documentary better provide something. Provide something of fucking note. Because if it ain't, I'm going to criticize that shit just like that. Everything's going to be all white documentary. You should link up with Flawed Zilla. Who that? Ain't that that rapper? I'm pretty sure that's a rapper. And if not, I'm completely wrong and I don't know anything about rap. Didn't she promote NFTs at one time? I have no idea. Maybe. Probably up her alley to do something like that. Everything you can say about Candace, I can say about you. Everyone's kind of goofy. Never once said I wasn't. But I'm not creating a documentary. I'm not making a documentary in like the next few months. When that shit supposed to come out? At like in like the beginning of June. I forgot about everything's going to be all white movies. Is it still around? It was pointless. 
Did nothing. Spent about however many hours, however many dollars saying white people this, white people that, white lies this, white lies that. Nothing. Everybody still hate each other. Have your eyes had the misfortune to read about Christian? I don't care about Christian, and I'm not going to respect the pronouns of a dude who raped his own mom. If we really want to have that opinion. X rapper your rapper shut up saggy saggy you missed the beginning of the stream we were talking about you how many subs slash views do you have to have to becoming to become an authoritative news source i have no idea ask somebody with a million subscribers and who claims to be an authoritative news source i'm not that are you a christian leon no what I do not. Oh, we was talking about geeks and gamers and how the joke was absolutely funny. Matter of fact, where my poll at? Let me see. Let me see if that poll has been updated. Four, four What the fuck? Four hundred and forty-five votes. I only got two hundred and twenty-four people in here. The fuck? How did it go? Where did y'all come from and where did y'all go? We we played the joke about. Uh, Ryan Kennel, and I polled everybody to see if it was racist, and overwhelmingly everybody said no. I never said it wasn't. I enjoyed dark humor. Cotton Well, bring your ass, bring your ass on the stream. Uh, you, you heathen, saggy. I'm about to send you the link. LOL, bots. Where the bots at? So I can get rid of them. You've been out here making waves. Have anyone threatened you of being... Wait, wait, wait. Let me see this. You've been out here making waves. Have you had anyone threatening you for being off-brand? Off-brand or what? Off-brand or what? Off-brand of who? I, like, I just sit here. I sit in pajamas. And I find something to call either dumb or smart or criticizing. Like anybody else, we going to debate. We not going to debate. I don't debate. I feel like it. I feel like I could debate, but I've never done it before. How do I do it? What do I say? Because whatever the fuck I see of debates is just a maximum of two to seven people all yelling at each other and then going on Twitter and saying how they won. Musk showed interest in Twitter again. Man, fuck. Fuck Elon Musk. Fuck him. Fuck everybody that was excited for him buying Twitter talking about my free speech is back. Shut that shit the fuck up. Turn your camera on. You're not coming in here until you turn that camera on, Pippa. If you don't vote for Biden, you're not black. Yeah, what a great way to divide the country. No, I look at Matt. What the fuck? I'm in my pajamas. You, you, we not here to see how pretty you look. Turn the fucking camera on. Debating is arguing. I don't want to argue. I don't fucking feel like yelling. Elon needs to speak to spaceships. You wake up gorgeous. I take work. Listen, nobody gives a fuck that you got the bonnet on. Nobody can smell your breath. Turn that fucking camera on. The only way to lose a debate is if you contradict yourself. There's no such thing as a debate anymore. But okay, give me a second. Let me get a, sh a shirt. You nasty, naked heifer. The division is the goal. You ain't black? Hey, maybe not. You came in a bag, not a box. Definitely off-brand cereal. Look, bruh. It is what it is. Happy belated birthday. It's about time somebody wished me a happy belated birthday. Are you fucking heathens that didn't wish me happy birthday? You sinners. You sinners. My favorite African-American is Elon Musk. <laughs> I, I do like that, though. He is, he is a little African-American, and it is funny. It's funny watching people get mad about that, though. It is, it's truly funny watching people get mad about that, though. I wish you happy birthday on Twitter. That was the wrong documentary in June 20th. Sorry, that ship sailed. Well, if it come out, it come out. If it don't, it don't. Turn that fucking camera back on. Your mom is the only one who cares about your birthday. Hey, you're mean. 
I wish you birthday in your vid. And then the tips to stream the next day. Oh, well, thank you. How old are you, Leon? I'm 23. People don't believe that. I don't know why. I think it's the beard. Woman, address yourself to the public. What do you want? What do you mean, what do I want? Was it racist? Why? What you, why are you bullying me? Racism. Was what racism? Oh, my God. This layout's gross. Can we, like... Lion's joke. Spread it out. Spread it. Was it racist? Was it racist? It was, if anything, I could say a little bit insensitive. All but right. I don't care because I like dark humor. But it was a little right. insensitive. Because, yeah. you know, I, I watched the little stream you was on. I heard a lot mm -hmm. of double speak in that stream. A double speak well here's the thing right i speak i can do this thing that a lot of people on the internet don't do which is i can speak from my own thoughts and opinions and then also speak in a non-biased sense meaning i speak for myself but i can also see the points of other people and speak on that as well so when i was speaking i'm like i don't mind the joke i've made those jokes myself i like dark humor Dark humor doesn't bother me at all, but I'm also empathetic to understand why other people might have perceived it the way they did. So, right. yes, there is double speaking, but like, not like I'm saying, oh, I like dark humor, but it was racist. I'm like, no, I like dark humor. I personally don't care, but I understand why you might care. Right now, right there. I like that part because that's the part that's been ringing in my head for a while. Number one, I don't understand. Because when you were in that stream, the gentleman you were speaking with said something along the lines of, oh, you can't make them jokes, but I can. And it's like, oh, now hold on a minute. How come you're allowed to make those jokes, but somebody else can't? What gives you the precedent to make a dark humor joke, but somebody else can't do it? Secondly, at what point, who gets to decide if it's offensive or not? The people who say they're offended? Or the people who say it's not. Because I found it funny. What the, I don't know if this is the head honcho of Geeks and Gamers. What's his name? Jeremy? Jeremy, yeah. Was he the one that posted the video of him with the two black people? And he was like, look, I got black friends. Yeah. All right. Number one, that was funny. Number two, if you got people who support them and hear it and they don't care, but you got people over to the side saying we're offended. They should apologize. They should be taken off YouTube and all this shit. Who gets to be judge, jury, and executioner for the Geeks and Gamers franchise? So my thoughts on that are this. Like, if you are somebody who is always labeled a racist, there is not like the quartering. A point, but I'm saying this, there's like a point where you have to be like. Well, they're going to call me a racist anyway. So, like, why do I have to feel like every time they do it, I have to defend it? At this point, if, if people are going to assume you are some way, there's, like, nothing you can do about it. So, every time you're with black people and you're just like, hey, I have a black friend, like, that starts getting, like, I won't say annoying, but it's like, what is the, what, what is the point? Like, it doesn't matter if you have black friends anymore. They're still going to think To you're piss people certain, off. Like, you, but it's, but that's what I'm saying. It's like, you can't cry foul then. You know how many motherfuckers got mad at that dude for just standing there like, I got black friends. It's like, you know how easy it is to piss people off on Twitter? And like you but just see, said, if people going to constantly get mad and get mad and get mad and get mad no matter what you do, then what's the fucking point? Why I care? That's what I'm saying. Why I care? Why be like, I have black friends? Like, we get it. You have black friends. We know, like, if you know no, 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 Gamers, no, 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 we know no. they have black friends. Young Rippa is always on Geeks and Gamers, bro. So if we're saying this, why was it you that was saying they should be addressing people in the community that have such a problem with it and because bringing up the I, notion of an apology? Because I feel like if there are people you are friends with, that you're associated with, that feel offended. Like, here's my thing. I might not agree with some of the things I say that might offend people. I don't agree that I said something that offended you, but that doesn't mean that I still should be that type of asshole that'd be like, 
not acknowledge your feelings. I try to acknowledge other people's feelings because I feel like that means we can have a conversation about why you're offended and why I don't feel you should be offended. If we can talk about that, we can find a middle ground where we can find an understanding. But that's just how I handle situations. So I do feel like if you are close to people and you are friends with people and you might have said something that upset them, that if they are saying like, I think you should apologize, you don't necessarily have to apologize right away, but at least be like, hey, I'm sorry if what I said offended you, that was not my intent. But like, yes, I do acknowledge that your fear, the feelings, because this is not a matter of geeks and gamers and the public, fuck the public. This was a matter of geeks and gamers and people who are a part of that community that they are close with that are the ones that are upset. Those are the ones I feel like should have that conversation. What do you mean part of the community that they're close with? I'm I'm so, asking because I'm asking because we close, even though you bully me, right. you talk about all these feelings and shit and care about feelings. You hurt my Whatever. feelings every fucking day. Good, woman, good, good. Woman, I'm see, glad. fuck you. Cry. See, Cry. see, fuck you. Cry. Anyway, I'm gonna piss you off in a couple of minutes. Is this is are these individuals who are speaking up? Do geeks and gamers know of them personally? Or are they just individuals who are, let's say, in the Discord? Or are they just always in a stream? Or they're a no. moderator? So they no, know them they personally. Know them okay. Yes. All right. Then that's a little bit different. Because the way it was phrased it was like, oh, it's just a bunch of random people being mad. And I can no longer support mm. geeks and gamers. Yeah, no. They're not, they didn't they're say, say that fuck they didn't support it. They didn't say they didn't support They were just pretty... A little upset and again like i saw somebody say something about hold on where was it that i'm clearly approaching everyone who claims to be offended as if they mean it in good faith most of those who cry offensive are not offended but but here's the thing Off- being offended in, in this day and age it's subjective so you can subjectively be offended by something that is your right to be offended now the issue i usually have is when people project their offense on other people i've had a lot of people project their offense of a racist comment or something they perceived as a racist comment onto me because I'm black. There's a big difference. I respect that people have the right to be offended, even if I disagree. Again, I'm talking about the difference between being empathetic, which is in the, is also subjective. You can subjectively be imp- empathetic to somebody else's yeah, offense. About- yeah, I'm using big words. I know you don't understand, Leon. I, I get it. <laughs> Matt's saying teach me how to read. Fuck you. I, I, okay, I'll teach you how to read, Massa. <laughs> Here's the thing. Am I going to care? Like, would I care? Mm-hmm. Like, honestly, like if, if I'm geeks and gamers and a bunch of people saying I should apologize because I'm a racist, I guess they got a, apparently there's a bunch of tweets and videos about how these individuals are so racist. And I'm just sitting here in my introduction to all these people and just watching like these at best, these dudes are just funny cornballs. That's Ooh. just this is all stupid. Having your feeling hurt as a part of life. Yeah, I I don't know why you say I I don't have I don't get hurt fifis over shit. I've been called every name in the book. What the fuck I've is a fifi? I laugh. You a grown ass woman? Say feelings. Fifis. Are you thirteen fee-fees years fucking old? Yes, are you thirteen no, years old? Yes, I am. Are you thirteen yes, years I old? Am. Yes, I oh, am. Oh well, goodbye. No, I can't be affiliated with no children. Mm-mm. Can't be affiliated with no children. <laughs> okay, fair enough. No, I, I know like you. The term know. Fee-fees. Oh, that's why you came back. The term fifis is like very degrading. That's why I like saying no fee-fees. shit. But listen, I don't give a shit. Dark y'all jokes are funny, bro. Y'all open a Pandora's box to be offended by anything. I don't know how y'all exist and just think that y'all not gonna be offended by some shit. But guess what? Y'all have essentially. Two options. Do what y'all been doing, which is bitch and moan and hope somebody acknowledge you. Or two, which is the option I keep hearing people bring up that they never fucking follow. Block it out. There's features on YouTube and Twitter. You press them lit three dots on a video on the channel. It says, don't recommend me this. I'm not interested in this. Don't show me this. There's a mute button on Twitter. There's a block button on Twitter. There's a block button damn near everywhere. You can block the shit out. 
Yeah, but because they're still gonna exist. All you people worry about, oh, well, let's try to deplatform them. I see people tagging Team YouTube to try to get them. Oh, I hate that shit. I fucking hate that shit. That's and it's so like, dumb. bro, why? Why are we doing it? I think I think that nobody should get deplatformed for telling a joke that offended people. I don't While care. While you lot of going on about race, your country is being looted. It's, all right, all right, sag, sag. Let's put on our fucking tactical vest and let's go save America right fucking now. Miracle, let's what go. What the fuck are we going to do? I'm sitting here chilling. I just woke up. My ass, my dog's in the other room just chilling. We just we just chilling while everybody Leon gets Leon makes too much sense. Leon never makes too much sense. What do you mean? Never, Leon never makes sense. It's because I sit here. Like, I ain't going to lie. Sometimes I move fast and, some, and I get things wrong. And perfectly fine. It's human nature. But the reason y'all see me make a video about something, 10 other people that made a video about fast and quick and in like 30 minutes is because I want all the information. I want more details. Yes, I just did a live stream about She-Hulk being diverse, Alex Jones paying up $45 million, and the third thing that I forgot about, self-defense. But I take the time to just sit back and have my information. And if I have the information and I still turn out to be wrong by more information, it's perfectly fine. I'll come back and make a second video. I mean, you are but wrong wait. about Pringles chips, though, so. Suck my dick. But wait. No. Democrats eat, do everything eat, black. Eat chips. Democrats do everything black people say, right? Right? right yeah. No, they don't. In the queue regular- that I made that video about that dude who was like, oh, you're just a walking <laughs> tap dancer. And it's like, bro, you could say that about you. I'm just saying. Leon I'm going to chat sip it for you. No, 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 no. No, I was going to comment Leon on that. Leon makes more sense than a lot Leon of people for his age. Wait, like wait, wait, time out. Said, First of all, no. being 23 don't mean you're dumb. Y'all need it's to broaden dumb. y'all fucking horizons. Y'all listening to women like saggy. That's where y'all fuck up. Y'all, y'all got to broaden y'all fucking horizons. There's a lot of people out in the world that's talking. They young, they old, they dead, they alive. It don't matter. It's cool to just and this and oh, I respect Barrington. That's the homie. He said something that I had to criticize about left leaning women being unattractive. And it's like cool. That's a point to make. But then when I kind of asked him and like pressed him on it, I ain't asked him. I think I just pressed him on it. The, he he then brought up, oh, when well, you look at libs of TikTok, and it's like, bro, you're looking at one corner of the internet. If I could just base it off one corner of the internet, yeah, ugly. But we brought in our fucking horizons. They got some fine ass leftist women. They may not be deep in politics, but they're going to let you know they, they support a certain group. They got some beautiful ass lesbians. They got some ugly as fuck conservatives. Perfectly fine. You're looking at one of them right there in that black ass hat. Look at her. I'm a what? I don't know. <laughs> I know you didn't just label me a politician or some shit. I don't know. I wouldn't know what you're talking about. When you talk about when people talk about politics, I just like. <sighs> Why well, listen to sagging when Leon's in the room? That's tough. Wow. Age don't make up wisdom. Experience. Fucking thank you. Age don't make up wisdom. Experience does. A 20-year-old who has experienced life will be wiser than a 50-year-old. Shut it. Absolutely fucking right. Why listen. listen to Sagan with Leon? No, no, no. Yes, yes. No, Here's no, the thing. No, 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 hold on, hold on. Honestly, honestly, hold up. Here's the thing. Y'all can be old. There are a lot of 63-year-olds that's dumb as fuck. 73-year-olds. You got a president that's a little bit slow up there. Dumb as fuck. They got old people on Twitter saying the dumbest of shit. I just joined what was racist. I'm not, I'm not, scroll back. I'm not playing it again. I played it three times. Three strikes, you out. You gotta, you gotta have experience in life in order to really speak about some shit. That's true. If you just talking willy-nilly, you gonna sound dumb. Listen. 
no, no, no. You, you, you just sound smart because you literally like study the dictionary of all the big words, fancy words. To make you no, I like don't. I say pussy shit, fuck bitch, damn. Yeah, but then you say like some articulate shit, and everyone's like, "Ooh, no, that boy I don't. Is smart. I just speak very." Yeah, that, that boy down there is smart. Them, 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 them Negroes reading over there. They I just have people. experience. What life experience do you have? Let's talk about this because I want to know what life experience have do you have at twenty three? I know not to be a dumb fuck like you. First of all, I have I'm not experience self defense, hands on okay. combat, and using a gun. I have experience in dealing with combative people verbally, physically, emotional stability from my own experience, not being that emotionally stable and then growing to be emotionally stable. Just that a small thing. Read. That Negro and can when read. I get older, I'm going to have more fucking experience and I'm going to have more wisdom to share. Y'all better be lucky I don't just give up and just be like everybody sucks and then call it a day. I mean, everybody does suck. It's true. Some people swallow, if we're going to be honest. Leon uses $20 words all the time. Yeah, absolutely. And somehow with my $20 of words, I make more sense than people who spend $1,500 on words. Wait, where are your chips, by the way? What? Where are your chips? Speak louder. I can't hear you. What where I'm are your, your potato face? chips? Don't worry about it. How'd you meet your saggy friend? Oh, uh, I was in fucking tipster stream and I saw Saggy. I'm like, Saggy! He's like, who the fuck is this peon? And then That's we bonded just way. like that. That's not the story. Why you tell the story wrong? Y'all want me to piss off? Let me get a let me get let me let me be like tipster. Can I get a one in the chat if y'all want me to piss off? You know $20. they're gonna type That's one. A... Some bullshit. Who knows? They may type zero. There's yeah, always the two that. cocky bastards that type zero. Press B to blow. <laughs> see? 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 Ones. Sick immediately. I ones. see two ones. Look at that. Never mind. Shit. Shit. Never mind. They just <laughs> exactly. all popped up. Yeah, exactly. Wait a minute. See, look. I'm getting zeros. I'm getting 42s. I'm getting 69s. Yeah, but you're getting more Some ones, dumb fuck put a letter. You, you, you cool. <laughs> Hey, Saggy, guess what? Hey, Saggy, guess what? What? What rhymes with bondum? Why do you have them right there, bro? <laughs> you see? You're not even a regular box anymore. What the fuck is that? <laughs> That's my Why little compartment. Really it's my little compartment thing? holder. What is that? Your headphones could thing you're putting your condoms in there now? No, it is not for my headphone. Hell no. It's Why my new compartment. Are they in your streaming room. Put them in your bedroom like a real adult, bro. No, fuck you. I put them wherever I want. Why? But why are they in your you're not getting laid in the fucking streaming room? We already have this conversation. You don't know that. You told me that. You told me last time. I told you, you, you don't know that. No, you no. I know that you because don't know you that, were. Sweetheart. Yes, I That's do. the thing. Because psych, no, psychologically, speaking, if you were, you would listen here. That. Shut it you up. The that. Bible said, "Thou shalt rap it before thou tap it." Y'all talking all this stuff about abortion. Let me bore y'all real quick bedroom. about some safe sex. It's when you have bedroom. what I have, and you take the precautions necessary, because sitting around and telling a bunch of twenty-year-olds not to have sex is fucking impossible. Motherfuckers are it's, horny. It's literally like you use them where you get laid. You're streaming. You're not fucking in that stream room. You ain't trying to risk your freaking camera equipment, your computer getting all fucked up, sticky and nasty. Put that shit where you gonna use it. I got a flow right here. You got fuck on the floor? That's so uncomfortable. Why would you fuck in a bed, bro? I got a chair right here. Why would you fuck in that chair and break that chair? I got, a, I got another chair over there. Why yeah, do you have multiple chairs? Why you worry about my life? Because let's, it bothers let's, me. Let's really think about it for one second, Tim. Why you worry? Why you worry? Why are you not praising me for having safe sex? Because it's not normal to have condoms in your streaming room. It's normal to have condoms. They got people with condoms in the car. Yes, but they, that's because they usually. Oh, have no, 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 it's yes, no, but. No, they're not yes, but. They don't always. No, it's yes, but. 
Okay, but fucking the car is probably more normal than fucking in your streaming room. Oh, no, no. It's more normal to fuck in a fucking, in one of them cube cars than it is to be on in your own apartment on the floor. They got I'm people who fuck that. on kitchen tables. But you always have them at arm's length. They got people who fuck on, on kitchen counters. Nah, see, I got you. I got you, homeboy. Because you have them shits at arm's length, which means you have them shits right next to all your equipment. So you're not fucking in that room, bro. You're not fucking everywhere. I think you just have them there so you can fucking trigger me. And it works every goddamn time because you literally told your but chat they, you're going to get But they me. sit here. But they sit here. And they don't get whether you if, so why Whether they we talking to each other or not, they sit here. But they ain't getting used because they're in the you room that? that you're not fucking it because How I you know, know that. Kitchen table stuck. disgusting. Guess what? Your parents then got freaky somewhere. I guarantee you. 241 people in here, all your parents ain't get freaky in the bed. They got those freaky the, somewhere. Those are the same fucking condoms that that man has had since I met him, y'all. And he's that means he's had them bitches for a fucking months yeah. and has not used them. And you, you see the number running low. Exactly. The, month, the number, number running low. Out. You lying. The number lying. running low. No, you had just as much. A box gonna have more than that, madam. Google I, a box I, of magnums. Google a I box think, of magnums. Google a box of magnums. I know. Don't worry about, about it. Is Since you're not gonna do it, I know who will. Mom da, 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 that. Da, da, he da, still da, has some of them in the box. He still has some of them in the box. That's it. why. He's just showing y'all. He's trying to make me look silly. So he only has some of them no, you there. you look silly by so yourself, see, madam. So he can make it seem like he's using them bitches. Madam, you them. look silly your damn self. You ain't using those condoms. Stop fronting. Not like you jealous. I'm using some of you. You ain't getting nothing used on you. Why am Brazinga! I using, I don't, use, I don't, I don't <laughs> put condoms on my shit. I don't have a dick to put condoms on. And if I did, oh, so I'd put you them in dog. the bitch. Oh, yeah. I raw dog bitches all day. <laughs> who, who needs condoms when you have a big dick and you can just get it? I'm making babies. Everybody have my babies. I'm putting my seeds everywhere. Everyone gonna have my babies. Everyone is gonna have my babies, and I'm never gonna pay child support. Baby mama. I don't do baby mama drama. All you bitches getting you, knocked. You up just announced yourself. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Oof. Now look. I'm not openly sexist. How dare you? I love every now look. sex. Now look, quick question. That says 36, right? Oh, my God. Here we go. He really brought this up. That 36, right? That's what I bought. Okay. That's what I bought. Now we're going to okay. count. Now we're going to count. Everybody come along with me. Let's play the game. All in there. One. Two. You really count. Three. Mm-hmm. Four. Mm-hmm. Five. Uh-huh. Five. Six. Mm-hmm. Seven. Mm-hmm. Eight. Oh my goodness. There's no more. Wouldn't that tell you something about little bitty old Leah? Where's the box? Wait. Where's the box? In Where's the garbage. The Bullshit. In the garbage. Bullshit. You know what? why? Because I found somewhere to put my condoms. Now, oh, say it with me, please. Oh, you wrong. Nah, where's the box, Leah? I had, where's the rest I of had the to room? fucking count like I'm Dora. You didn't say it in Spanish, though. What? You didn't say it in Spanish. You're not Dora. You didn't say it in Spanish. Look, hola, nueve, all that. <laughs> I know he's his ass is lying, y'all. He got that box with the rest of us. Sound like, it's, it's, closet, that sound bro. like bitterness. Whatever. No, Sound like bitter. Watch after the stream, he's gonna freaking send me a picture of the box in his fucking room or something. Watch. What I'm gonna send you the box for? I just showed you where my condoms at. I know your box is full, bro. No. I know it is. It's all right. It's all right. You trying to front? I get it. It's okay. He kind of like come like from it. Sesame Street. Yeah, had to. He didn't do it with a laugh. One condom. Ha ha ha. No 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 no. I'm not gonna do it either. Now, One unfortunately, day. ladies and gentlemen, we're coming upon the end of the stream, and I just want to know. I just, I just, I just want in the stream on a on a funny note. Got to end it funny. on a funny note. This wasn't funny. Oh, this was funny, but this wasn't funny enough. This wasn't funny. Ha ha. 
funny weird. So, what do you what do we all see on this screen? It's it's a it's a woman wearing a dress, and the caption up here reads, "My daughter couldn't find a date to prom." Sounds like most people in high school. But okay. So she had her son escort her. Well, you know, that's one of those uh, negative it aspects happens. of having coitus when you're young and you don't use any protection and you don't <clears throat> use the necessary precautions to make sure you don't end up with a child. You know? mm -hmm, that's true. It's the next slide that gives me a little bit of uh, intrigue. And I quote, <clears throat> I can't even see that shit. This is embarrassing. Her son's father is black and couldn't even escort her to the prom, let alone spend time with his child so she could enjoy herself. Black men are the same all across the board. This is definitely not something we should be celebrating. Getting pregnant and abandoned by a black by black men and going to prom like there's so much more to life than that. And then someone responds, thank you. Someone said it, shaking my head. And then there's another response. Exactly. I knew that baby daddy was black before the video even showed the child. A lot of these black men are so irresponsible and only want to make single mothers, not marriage-minded, emotionally unavailable, immature, etc. I wouldn't be surprised if he had nothing to do with this young lady and her child after he got her pregnant. These girls from, from the other race is going to learn that there's nothing coming from being with these guys <sighs> other than poverty and single parenthood. Our sisters need to learn it as well. No more of this mess. It's tired. Now... There's 1% of this I agree with. All these bad people y'all choose to date and this weird mindset of, oh, you can fix them? Dumbest shit on the planet. Wait. Don't go into a relationship thinking you can fix somebody. Wait. If they show you red flags, grab that motherfucker, wave it, and run. Wait. Pause. Yes. Yes. First of all, fucking prom, they're in fucking high school, my dude. Look, they're still young. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Once it's you go strong, black, you a bro. single mom. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God, bro. Oh my. That's I'm just teen saying, dads they're, in general. They're, they're, though. Fact, wait a minute. Right? Why are we making this a black man issue? I ain't right? got no kids. Y'all saw it's my condoms. It's not about black men. It's about the fact that they're fucking in high school. They're teenagers, bro. Like, what the? That had nothing to do. That's what's triggering me. That had nothing to do with being black or not. It's th they're in high school. The dude is a kid, got her pregnant, probably a teenager, probably shook because he's not ready to be a pappy at fucking 18, just, 17 years old. God damn it. I just like the first part of the first comment. Couldn't even escort her to the prom, let alone spend time with the child. Who knows? Maybe she batshit crazy. Y'all ain't consider that part. And who Y'all ain't maybe think. She maybe wanted, this maybe motherfucker is batshit crazy. Maybe she just wanted to bring her son to the prom. Damn it. Nah, she couldn't get a date. How could she not so get a date? So her son she escorted her? Who? Hey, wait a minute. Her son escorted her? Why, why is the option not, oh, they just brought the motherfucker because nobody wanted to babysit? I mean, that and also the fact that it seems staged. Obviously, the chick was attractive enough to get herself knocked up and have a fucking whole ass child, but like she couldn't get a date to prom, bruh. Bullshit. Miss me with that bullshit. That chick was not fact, like a busted said ass black chick. man could be her age. Which, if that's the case, that's not no man. That's a boy. That's a teenager. That motherfucker ain't got no life experience. I might, Can we I'm see the first pick again? Sure. I'm gonna say something probably mean, but like maybe he's older. Like she ain't ugly, bro. She maybe can't get a date. we don't know. I'm just saying that whole post. Why you? Why you end it on some bullshit like this? That baby is adorable, though. By the way, can we just talk about how, talk, how adorable? What are you talking baby about? Is? A lot of these black men are so irresponsible. They got black women who are irresponsible. Only want to make single mothers. They got a lot of. They, I ain't gonna say they got a lot. There are black mothers that abandon children. Not marriage minded. A lot of you hoes ain't marriage minded. Emotionally unavailable. Some of you women are emotionally manipulative. Immature. Some of you women are bitches. We can play this game of black men versus black women. That whole pose I is just can't. bait. Hey, might be. It's I some can't. good ass bait. You won't know it. 
disparity. You won't know it was fucking bait. The fucking video of the woman talking about how the baby daddy didn't bring McDonald's for all them other kids. That was bait. All them fucking videos y'all saw, people wanted me to talk about that shit. I'm like, that shit was the purest form of bait on the planet. Excessively. But, Saggy, any final thoughts? Original Pringles are nasty. Fuck you. I'm going to get that box. No! <laughs> Let me tell you something. Leave my Pringles alone. Eat the okay? I can't hear nothing you saying. I ain't got no, my headphones. Good, I hope good. you know that. I don't hey, care. Leave my Pringles alone. Bro, I got original. I got cheddar. I got sour cream. He I got barbecue. Original. I got he all only eats original. The words but he only I eats original. I just want y'all to know that. Hey. 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 You hater. See? You a hater. Because you only eat original. Who does it. that? You got you variety and Look you eat plain chips, bro. You can get this at Walmart. God, it's I at can't. Walmart today. Huh. He has flavors it's probably about and $6. he only eats huh. original, guys. He don't eat the barbecue. He's only munching on the originals. That's why he ran out there. I, he came on my stream once and he's crunching on something. I'm like, what you eating, chips? He's like, yeah. I was like, which kind of chips you eating? He's like, Pringles. Okay, well, what flavor? Oh, the original. And he doesn't talk about bragging. He got a variety pack. He eat in the originals. That's not a normal man. Now, what'd you say? Nothing. That's I why you're a single parent. I I don't. I, I'm not a single parent. Pause. I'm because I'm not a parent at all. But well, if I was ding, a, ding, if ding, I was ding, a ding, parent, ding. Well, look at that. Eat. I eat original. Original is good. See. I got somebody with a mom that likes original. See, we love the MILFs. It's all beautiful. I'm, I'm not saying originals are good. I'm just saying there are better flavors and options. And you give a fuck what you think. Ones. You have you, you have cat ears on headphones. You're not you're not reliable. And these bitches cost a lot of money. So I'll take it. I don't care for how much money they cost. How much money they cost? A hundred dollars. You know how much these cost? A hundred dollars. These cost about two hundred dollars. Why are they blurring then? Mine's got lights and shit. You can't see because the lights are on. Guess what? You won't know how much I these bitches cost? 300. Yes. Because okay, they fucking Astro. They A50 Astro. I ain't spending the $300. I like these ones. They they light up and stuff. They actually are really good headphones. For $100, they're not bad. All right. Before we wrap it up, I want to look at my poll one more time. Not my stripper pole, just my regular pole. You have a stripper pole? 579 votes. Yeah, y'all showed y'all show y'all ass today. And overwhelmingly, even though some people didn't know what we was talking about, the joke is not racist. You're racist. I like Cat how ears are stupid. Like, You're stupid. How you spell stupid? I like stupid how I'm streaming. I'm just and my friend Rady is just like, "Are you gonna?" And I know she gonna I, sit there and kick herself in the throat. What? I got a friend who chastises me every time, like I say I want to stream and then I don't do it, and he's just like, "Are you gonna? Are you gonna? Are you gonna?" I don't think she you realizes that I'm streaming. But you have friends. I knew you didn't. I knew you didn't value me as a friend. I'm kidding. How was your birthday? Before you scum. ended the stream, how was your birthday? What'd you do? Scum. You didn't do anything? Scum. Are you calling me scum? I got drunk. That's what I did. I'm 20. I'm 23. It, how the song go? It's my birthday. I get drunk if I want to. And I did. Faux enough. Oh, is that you why you came on my is? stream being shit and talking to me with your drunk ass? Hey. You should have had me on your stream when you was criticizing YouTubers. But you were scared. I'm never scared to have you on my stream. My chat's scared of you. Well, 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 when I asked you, you was like, oh, you were celebrating your birthday. Mind you, my birthday was the day before. Okay, fair enough, but... So, we, we gonna wrap it up like this. For all the people in the back, 
that didn't know what 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 the poll was referencing. Hold on one second. I'll get it one more time just for you. I hate when I, I got to Shut up, woman. It's not even on right. What? Your hat. You going to pull this bitch off my head and put it back on me? Put it back me on right? I would if I could, but it bothered me. Look at radio. Like I said, like clockwork. Show up in the last minute. I've been streaming for an hour. <laughs> you you responded to me 20 minutes ago. Talking about some, are you gonna? An hour. Wait, radio knows more about geek and gamer than I do. So radio, are you available to come on the stream? <laughs> My man's talked about end of the stream multiple times. Now he wants to keep it going. Let's go, radio, get on! Oh, it ain't gonna be too much longer. Too I'm gonna send this link to Rady, and maybe she can enlighten the world on geek and gamer. Gamers. Geek, gamers, gamers, geeks, all that shit. You didn't announce you were streaming? Oh, I don't know. Shut up. I do what I want when I wanna, how I wanna. You fuck with me, you ain't a little goner. I'm not always hating, just on Leon. There's a big difference. Uh, shut up. Anyway. Alex, come here. They have a memorial to George Floyd. Oh what a gosh. joke. George Floyd Memorial Live. Wait, Look at that. They got a Derek Chauvin George Floyd Memorial. Dude, that's insane. <laughs> Pause, though. That's a joke. Pause, though. You, he knew, he knew what he did. Cause you could see that, like, you could see it on his face after he said it. He knew what he did. He was just like, I'm gonna get heated. For, I'm gonna get heat for that. He knew. He knows when he gets phone. heat. I, I mean, just gave you the link. Know. Check Twitter. Shit. What? Don't you yell at her. I yell at you too. Shit. You, you Matter of fact, I'm about to piss all y'all off. Fuck it. I got a gift on my birthday. What is it? And I ain't going to say nothing. I'm going to just play it. Anybody who knows of me and my social media antics, you know exactly what, is, what I'm about to play. What? Get you in the pantry. 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 Like Leon. For my prize is what I be on It's a little something, yo We can't agree on If you keep your ketchup in the fridge Use the pee on Yeah! <laughs> ah, yes! Thank you, Hustle I love it I why love it use, Why'd he use the great value ketchup, though? I don't know why he used the great value ketchup <laughs> I, I don't use that I use Heinz I, like, I use, use Heinz, Heinz. But That was a great <laughs> birthday gift Look, the ultimate sinner is here. Oh, that's, my, that's my new theme song. Yeah. Use the cheap ketchup, I can't. They couldn't even get the Heinz ketchup. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my one cri criticism. Hustle, if you see this, how you couldn't use the Heinz ketchup? He used great value. <laughs> so, Radio, how you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing? I'm I'm trying to get myself ready for All right, the Black 24 Man. hour. You gonna help me with my 24 hours? What days are gonna be on? You know I gotta work and stuff, man. I haven't decided yet. I need if, to like if, on the weekend. Tomorrow tomorrow is going to be the decision day. I'm gonna like formulate my week and I'm gonna pick which day out of the week. Also, hi Saggy Melons. Since Leon wanna be rude and stuff. Anyway, um, <laughs> I had to mute myself because I'm still dying over that ketchup. <laughs> Shut your bitch ass up. Basically, make me Leon shut my bitch ass up. Yes, thank you. But what's up? What did you want to ask me? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Did you yeah, see the Leon joke? Yeah, I saw the joke. What about it? What do you think, as a resident oh. fan of geeks, gamers? <laughs> Knowing what I know about Ryan Kinnell, I did not think it was racist. I do think that it was very, um, it was meant to provoke for sure. <laughs> I'm not saying that it was. 
yeah, it's not racist. It's definitely meant to provoke because geeks and gamers are always getting these accusations that they're racist and misogynistic and sexist and all the, all the is and obes and all that shit. So now, now let me ask you a question. What's, what's your nationality? A lot of things. What's your skin? Bro, I'm, I'm half black. Are you white? No. Oh. She just said brown, bro. Why did you still ask if you were white? You, you gotta is, make sure. She got this Filipino shit in her, in her name. I don't I, know what I'm that also, means. I'm half Asian. What do you say? She's Asian. I'm, I'm like Asian. I'm black. I have a little bit of native in there. Like, I have a lot of things. She's gorgeous. I just had to ask. You never. You, what, what? 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 Her name is. Uh, huh? Come on. What's the lady name? Which one? The one what that hang lady? around Biden. Kamala. Yeah, that Kamala one. Please arise. Didn't wasn't she on TV talking about my name is Kamala Harris? My pronouns are she, her. I'm a woman, and I'm wearing a blue suit. Like what? Okay. Every everybody a little bit slow nowadays. But what are you? What is your point? My point is, I ain't got no point. <laughs> <laughs> it's stupid. Yeah, but to reiterate. No, right. No, Ryan's not racist, and what he's what he did wasn't racist, because I don't think it would have mattered if George Floyd was black or not. If it was anybody else, white, Asian, whatever, he would have made the same joke, just because that's how Ryan is. Has nothing. To I do met the race. man, and he yeah. likes chocolate. I have a video that proves it. Somebody paid him to say I like chocolate in a yeah. super chat, just for me, just for me. But, yeah. Bottom line is, he would have made the joke regardless of who it was. Would so, you make the joke, Rady? Me personally, no. That those are not my. I, I would for me, it would be dis- distasteful for me to do it. Saggy, what? Dumbass. Would you make the joke, bro? I put a black man that I didn't like's face on George Floyd's face in that picture of him getting choked out by the cops. So yes, I made those jokes. <laughs> what the fuck wrong with you? You worse. Well, he was being hey, you a black. Bitch. How dare? No. No, he was systematic he, oppression between black, black men and black no, women. No. He's a black man who hates black women, and he always talks shit to me. So I got fed up. So I put his face and said, "This should have been you." You know, Tough. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have made the joke, but seeing what he said and looking at the statue, I was like, "That's messed up," but it's funny. See, I mean, it was everybody up, got but... some dark humor in them. Everybody could give a little chuckle to something dark. And I'm, not and I'm pretty sure a lot skin. of these people who are crying, I'm, I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of the people are crying about, oh, this is men, the dead man. It's like, bro, I'm pretty sure they make the same, if not worse, jokes. Well, especially so, about like. Okay. Well, part of it, part of it was also because apparently Ryan is about like you know very supportive of the police, and that was an incident mm-hmm. of police brutality, even though it was just straight up murder. Like we're yeah. talking. Yeah. But, I, I, I think that's that, what but is. I, 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 I don't. I don't think that that joke that he made. They just think this is just Ryan being Ryan. I don't think it, it's a reflection of how he actually feels about what happened with George Floyd and what the officer did. But like, yeah, I mean, I can see how people can get upset about it. Like, you know, I understand why people would get upset about it because for some people it is definitely an insensitive thing because the guy did die in a pretty effed up way. But to sit there and call it racist, I think it's irresponsible to call it racist because, like I said, knowing what I know about Ryan, he would have made the joke regardless of who it was that was that happened to. Um, but the thing, the point is, I understand like why people find that funny. I also understand why people find that messed up. That's it. <laughs> But like, Leon, I don't think you're understanding whips and chains the same way that this person meant it. I think you're thinking because we're black, they talk about those kind of whips and chains. I think they talk about just some BDSM <laughs> shit. So I don't know if you got that, but your smile was very misleading, and I wasn't sure if you understood the the con the, the <laughs> reference. Nah, of nah, nah, hold the fuck up. Okay. How you go? How you go from slave shit to BDSM? Um, I mean, they use them in both. So, and you see people like Eggman Jody, right? He's over here like, see. It's the same man who said something about the black, amount of black people they have in the Batman, but they took him out of context with that whole situation. Did, did you say Eggman Jody? You mean Jody's Corner? Yeah. 
girl, I'm in love with you. You know, my biggest spike in, in subscribers came from me roasting that fat fuck when he was talking <laughs> about all this shit. Bro, let me tell you right now, for those of you who don't know, this man went on with Young Ripper trying to flex that he had a studio and shit and climbed a clown on Ripper for having a studio in his home. Bro, turns out people who are part of this community literally outed him. That studio is financed through Section 8 fucking housing, and it's not even in that motherfucker's name. So that shit, set, hashtag Section 8 Studios. Well, look, that's between you and whatever fat fuck y'all got a beef with. Ain't my beef. Hey, but I'm saying that they're, they're tying that situation with that man and, you know, why they were even debating in the first place to Ryan Kennel. And now they're saying, see, 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 told you he's racist because of the whole joke he made about George. Ay, 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 ay. I'm just saying, you know, it's hilarious is that people like that are just mad because they wanted to be in Geeks and Gamers, and the Geeks and Gamers said no, and they were like, well, we're going to call you racist then. <laughs> they just want to, yeah, they just want to be mad. They want to have that little dragon to slay or whatever. They want to call them all kinds of racist and sexist and all that stuff. Like, I, know, I know them based off of my interactions with them. They're far from those things, and they will take opportunities to poke fun at people who say they are, which is definitely what I think that was. Ryan was just making fun. And you can see the look on his face after he made the joke, too. Like, ah, oh, shit. I'm probably going to get a lot of heat for this. That's why I said as soon as I saw that, I was like, you can see yeah. on his face. He knew what he did. He knew right, it was going to exactly. be a bad He knew what he was doing. He's like, yep, he I'm stirring the pot. By the way, Ryan's Carl cool. and Jody, Carl and Jody Eggman is disrespectful to Dr. Eggman and Sonic. Y'all need to stop that. <laughs> Y'all need to stop just they both can get stuff. <laughs> disrespecting Dr. Eggman like that by calling him Comparing him to Jody's coin. That man at least got skinny legs, okay? <sighs> he might have a fat upper body, but Jody don't got fucking skinny legs. That man got turkey legs. Anywho. Everybody go buy a Ripperverse comic. Why you shuttle for Ripper? Who, how much is he? Yo, name? fuck. I, listen here. Listen here, you. <laughs> let me set you up for failure. It ain't shilling if you actually support a motherfucker. I'm flat. And let me tell you, I support a motherfucker. Because as much as everybody whine about shit, it's probably one of the only few motherfuckers that actually did something. And guess what? 3.3 mil. I'm yeah, almost 3.4. You ever get that money from PayPal, though? I don't uh, know. It's still ongoing. It's still ongoing. This I, man I, had a campaign I, goal of 100,000. And let me just point, say, blew the roof off that. Yeah. And at this point, we're, we discontinued um, accepting PayPal as payments. Look at all it. Look yeah, at this good. Look at, look at all this goodness. Real. You got a comic book. You got a hat. You got a poser. You got another poser. You got a shirt. You got another shirt. Another shirt. Trading I would, cards. I would another say poster. Moon, moon I'd be in a very, very weird position if I didn't support, if I didn't recommend it. Not because Art I book. go. But you know what they mm -hmm. don't have? Some hoodies. I'm getting a little cold outside. I don't appreciate how there's no Ripperverse hoodies. I don't You'll appreciate right. how in okay. a world but Moon, ask where, me a question. where global ask warming me a makes things colder, I can't get a Ripperverse hoodie. Neither can I. What's your point? So make the fucking hoodies. That's the point. I'm not, Y'all don't want I'm no not money. I'm not in charge of making hoodies. What do you want me to do? Don't worry about Wait, it. I'm, I'm calling confused. corporate. Oh, yo, I'm, I'm going to get y'all some money. Wait, Raddy, you're part of uh, the, 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 the thingy? Yeah, I work for him. I didn't know that. That's pretty awesome. I've been uh, known as White Knight for Young Ripper, so nice to find, like officially uh, meet you as part of the stock. Yeah, I want to be on the payroll. No, I'm just kidding. I'm like, I, I think Young <laughs> Ripper He had to earn his spot in the comic book room. Moon. Moon asked me what I recommend Rip Ripperverse. I don't know anything about the comic book itself in terms of the content because I'm in the same boat as everybody else waiting for the book to arrive so I can read it myself. But I support what he's doing. I can recommend Ripperverse in that regard. I'm supporting yeah, what he's doing. And guess what? Listen, if you buy I, it and you read it and you don't like it, perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. Listen, I say to people, like I said, I'm not a huge comic book buff and a lot of my audience hates <laughs> Ripper, but I always tell people, listen, if you agree, if, if people agree with his, his take and you respect the man for putting his money where his mouth is, then yeah, I support it. And I think everyone else should too. Yeah. I mean, why not? So if far, I like that, the trailer. I like the premise. That's about it. We'll I'm curious about the, the the character that the, the girls at the cost the convention were cosplaying as. I oh, can't yeah, believe yeah. that she, they got them costumes up quick. 
Yeah, Krista did it in like four days, I think, what she was saying. Did she? That's wild. Mm -hmm. Cosplay. And she did everything by hand. Yeah. Oh, God bless her. She must have been working on that like for hours. That's pretty impressive. Look at look mm -hmm. at Leon over there getting bored. He'll be all right. Leon, you need a hug? I need you frozen. I need he validation. Needs a about what? Validation of what? <laughs> For as much as people want to talk about, oh, it's 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 this, it's that, mainstream this, and I'm not going to support this. This is gay. I trust Andy Signore and Popcorn Planet than the mainstream media. Go Planet. There's levels of obsession, and then there's just outright absurdity. You can criticize mainstream media, but to fixate on another piece of media, like they're always right, is a fool's game. Because when Especially they get some one. shit wrong, <clears throat> you're going to be the first one bent over saying, oh, they did it right. They did it right. And you're all just hating. Be objective. Don't be subjective. And that's how I choose to end this stream. I still love Any you. final words, Rady, you Philippinex? No. Are you going to help me during my 24-hour stream? I don't know. It depends on when your 24-hour stream is going to be. Because like I said, I got to work too. I know you got to work. So how but am I going to help you for your 24-hour stream if I'm working? To your when you finish, do you work for 24 hours? No, but that's going to cut into 24 hours. So you're asking me to help you with a 24-hour stream with obviously not going to be able to be there for the whole thing. <sighs> this is discrimination. This is why men. <laughs> this is why men are disenfranchised. Leon, I hope I hope you run out of toilet paper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold that thought. Why he always get up and run so quick, bro? <laughs> is he going to really go get some toilet paper? <clears throat> this is why he's probably. got the condoms in the room. Somebody probably <laughs> challenged him on condoms and he went and grabbed them. <laughs> freaking cool. How do you buy the condoms? Ask Jamie Curry. Never going to run out of toilet paper. Ever. Yeah, because you don't I wipe your ass, you shit. nasty motherfucker. Ugh. It's probably the same person that will go swimming in the swimming pool during the shite. summertime and say, I'm clean. I'm clean. Mega, yeah. I has to shite. You Ugh. ain't using You ain't running out of toilet paper because your ass ain't using that to wipe your ass. I know you got skin stains in them, but then PJ, stop lying. But Jamie Curry, if you want to go buy the book, hey, go to reverse.com. Hey, I'm going to make sure my call. ass is wiped. Can I what you say? That? Okay. Jay McCurry, you asked how you can get the book. Go to ripreverse.com. Click on ISOM number one campaign link at the top of the page and then have at it. Hey, hey Leon. Yeah, I should probably put the link Le since I Leon. broadcast the shit. When, when you use a toilet paper, do gotcha. you use like two sheets and wrap it around your finger and, and, and you know dig it out? No, I'm not you. What I do is use toilet paper. I'm not getting in this descriptive shit. <clears throat> What? <laughs> Y'all like that wordplay? Anywho, mm. I hope you two have a blessed day. Actually, no. Scratch that. Saggy, you ain't going no fucking well. When we gonna play Apex? I, I don't have work today. You wanna play? Yeah. Matter of fact, my shit on right now. Are you gonna stream it? You should stream Do I want everyone to? Can, Yes, you should, so everyone can see how much of an asshole you are when we play. So no, I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't stream today. I'm only Why? getting away with this because I can. I'm gonna stream tomorrow, though, and that's gonna be like my my pre. Wait, you're playing Apex, but you can't stream it. Why? Why can't you stream it on Twitch, bro? Because I'm on a deadline. Huh? What I'm does that mean? I'm on a deadline. I got people coming over. Okay, so you're you gonna be playing. It. Hey, you stream until your friend people come over when you about no. to leave. No, no, I'm gonna stream yeah, tomorrow, and I'm gonna stream for X amount of time so that I can amp myself up for 24 hours. He's gonna turn the game on to play, but won't stream it. Yeah, okay. It's like I do any other time. Mm -hmm. Was this I hear you talking about me? I don't know. I'm getting hot. I gotta take a. Was that your tweet? Yes, it was. That was her. Was that really her tweet, or you lying? Yes, it was. It was her tweet. I said I still love her. You hear me? You that that was her tweet. She responded to it too. Jesus Christ! Now I gotta scroll back all the way down. Now you gotta apologize, Madam. I'm streaming. Now you gotta apologize. 
Well, number one, that's came here for, no. You came here to throw down, Leon. What you gonna do about it? Hey, well, fuck. This fucking tweet is fucking creepy. I trust Andy Signore and Popcorn Planet than the mainstream media. I hope when they get shit wrong, you ain't butt fucked. But what, do you even know that this <laughs> that's the right? end of the stream, ladies and gentlemen. I hope y'all have a beautiful day. And if you don't, oh well, not my problem. Goodbye. Goodbye.